What's up everybody, welcome back. In this question, we're told a car traveled the distance of x squared plus x minus one over two x minus one minus one. So that whole expression in brackets represents the distance. And they traveled that distance in a time four minus eight over x plus one. So this entire expression represents the time. And we have to find the speed of the car. Now we know that speed is equal to what? the distance something travels over the time. So in this case, the distance is that whole expression. So x squared plus x minus one all over two x minus one minus one. And we're gonna have to divide that whole expression by four minus eight over x plus one. So we basically have to simplify this over here. So when you get a question like this and these sort of formats, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the numerator is one fraction and the denominator is one fraction. Because when you have single fractions in both the numerator and denominator, you can then divide them pretty smoothly. We would just flip this fraction and then multiply it. But we have to make it into one fraction here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually simplify the distance uh, expression on the side here. So let's rewrite it. x squared plus x minus 1 over 2x minus 1. And then uh, we're subtracting 1. And this 1 is like over 1. So notice that we're subtracting here. So we're going to have to get a common denominator. What's the common denominator here gonna be? Well, we got one and we got two x minus one. Both of these are different. We multiply them, we're just left with two x minus one. So this one here, we have to multiply by two x minus one to get this, which means we have to multiply the top by two x minus one. And then this is already two x minus one, so the numerator here we can just leave. So we'd have x squared plus x minus one, this rewritten, minus, in brackets, that new numerator right there. And you gotta make sure that you put that whole expression in brackets. You're subtracting that whole numerator there. So that has to be in brackets. And then what you do is you just uh, simplify the top. So you would distribute the negative inside the bracket. That would give you this could be your next line. I'm just gonna write it here to save room. That could be minus two X plus one. So uh, X squared is still by itself. Then we have the X minus two X. Those are like terms. X minus two X gives us uh, minus X. And then negative one plus one, those net out to zero. So X squared minus X over two X minus one. That there is the simplified uh, distance expression. So notice that we took this and made it into one fraction. Remember that was our original goal. So let's rewrite that x squared minus x over 2x minus 1. Okay, so that is uh, this bracket simplified. That's the distance. And then um, now we gotta simplify the time expression. So the time expression is given as four, let's put this four over one, minus eight over x plus one. So what is the uh, common denominator here gonna be? One times x plus one, which is just x plus one, this is already x plus one, but this one here, we have to multiply by x plus one to get this. So we have to multiply the top by x plus one. So we'd have four bracket x plus one minus eight. All right, that's how we take this and make it into one fraction. Then we distribute the four inside the bracket, simplify like terms, we would end up with four x, then we have positive four minus eight, which is negative four, and this would be over x plus one like that. All right, so we took this, made it into one fraction. So we'd have 4x minus 4 over x plus 1. 
All right, and now this is a lot easier to work with. We could simplify this because we know what to do when we're taking a rational expression, dividing it by another rational expression. All right, so let's actually rewrite this. So we're taking um, x squared minus x over 2x minus 1. And we are dividing it by 4x minus 4 over x plus 1. And now to simplify this, what are the steps we go through? Well, first we have to factor everything. Notice that uh, we could factor this numerator here. We could take out an x. This would be 2x minus 1. And then divided by, we could take out a 4 here. That would be x minus 1. And this will be x plus 1. And then from here, they don't really ask for them. But if they do ask for restrictions, you would get the restrictions at this point. So notice here, x cannot equal positive 1 half right, because 2x minus 1 cannot equal 0, and then you would isolate for the x. Um, here, x cannot equal negative 1. And because we're dividing, we also have to look at the numerator of the rational expression we're dividing by. So x minus 1 cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal positive 1. Right, so those are the three restrictions, and you would get them at this step over here. And now um, we are dividing, so we would flip this fraction. So we'd have x bracket x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 over 4 bracket x minus 1. This cancels out, this cancels out. And um, I believe that's it. That's all that cancels out. So x times x plus 1 and then 4 bracket 2x minus 1. So that is the simplified expression for the speed, and those are the restrictions.